What is going on, guys? My name is Jack McNeil of BaseballEssential.com. Join us as the hot stove is getting going next week in Nashville. We'll be at the winter meetings representing this site. Now, let's get started right away. The St. Louis Cardinals are becoming known as the team that might have the most money to spend this offseason. Okay, maybe not the most, but they'll spend an unlike the Cardinals amount. What I mean by that is they normally don't go out in the free agent market and spend a ton of money, especially on players that they didn't have grown in the organization. For example, they signed Adam Wainwright, who grew up in the organization, to a team-friendly deal. Well, they traded for him. But regardless, they normally don't go out on the free agent market and get the top guys, the top pitchers, the top batters. They let Albert Pools go a few years ago. And this year will mark the first time they'll really have the capital available uh, to really go out and make a huge difference. Remember, a few years ago, their biggest uh, signing in history was Matt Holliday, who they traded for earlier in that season to that seven-year extension. So re-signing guys, that's something they do. Signing guys out of free agency, not so much. So this year will be interesting to see if they do re-sign Jason Hayward, who was traded for last offseason um, as the St. Louis Cardinals needed a right fielder to replace the Oscar DeVeres, who tragically passed away uh, last offseason. Going into this offseason, they have a lot of needs. I mean, they wanted a backup catcher, which they signed someone tonight. We'll get to that. They need someone in the outfield that can play multiple positions, maybe complement at second, third, first base. And they need a starter or two. They have enough young depth to fill up the rotation if they get one good starter. But who knows? The St. Louis Cardinals are going to have a lot more money as a TV deal in 2018. That money starts to come in to play. We're talking about an extra $50 million a year to start. But for the St. Louis Cardinals, the first move they've made this offseason is a low-dollar deal for a backup catcher in Brian Pena, who hit just over 250 uh, last season, and his career much better than Tony Cruz, who was their backup the past few years. Tony Cruz's career batting average is 220 and hit five home runs over his career, hitting just over 200 last season. Uh, Pena, again, has a 260 career average with just over 20 home runs throughout his career. He's gotten more playing time the past two years than really any other year in his career, um, and, but he is not one who needs to play a ton of games. He's used to not playing over 100 games, and that is something the Cardinals needed to find, someone who is okay with being a backup. As Yadier Molina is getting older, he's 33 now and had an injury last season, the Cardinals are really going to be consciously going out of their way to let a backup start in replace for Yadier Molina, giving Yadier Molina some off days. Uh, last season, excuse me, the past year, he started 84 games uh, with the Reds, and he hit over 270. Uh, against right-hand pitching, he hit 295. So it will be a nice compliment to Yadier Molina, uh, whether it's late in the games, whether it's just giving him a day off. Um, again, Pena has only appeared in over 100 games twice in his career, and that is something that the Cardinals had a hard time finding off, uh, last offseason. And they looked for a backup catcher to no avail. No one wanted to be the backup to, to Yadier Molina. Um, I sort of get that. I sort of get that. So for the St. Louis Cardinals, they signed Pena to a two-year, $5 million contract, and that probably means Tony Cruz is out. Now, the contract tendering date is Wednesday, so at this point, if Tony Cruz was tendered the contract, it'd probably be about a million dollars with arbitration. Uh, but this move likely means Tony Cruz is gone and uh, will enter free agency. So, Tony Cruz, thank you for your service. I think that is a good direction. Unless they wanted Pena and Cruz to have some sort of a battle in spring training, in which case I'm not sure why you'd give Pena a two-year contract uh, oh, and with worth $5 million. So, this deal signifies a change in direction in the backup position uh, for catcher. It's a solid move. It's, it's not too much money compared to what the Cardinals have to spend this offseason. And if the Cardinals are clearly wanting to move a different direction than Tony Cruz, otherwise they would not have spent over $2.5 million a year on a backup catcher. That's about it, folks. Yadier Molina will get some more games off next season to keep him fresh and avoid injuries later in the year. And Pena is now the Cardinals' backup catcher. Tony Cruz likely gone. The St. Louis Cardinals are still in on every big free agent available. It seems like every update on MLB trade rumors is about the St. Louis Cardinals or has them linked to the update in some way. David Price, Jason Hayward, although I'm not hearing too many people assuming that they re-sign Hayward. Um... Jeff Samarja is one of those options. If you want to go kind of a mid-tier option, Chris Davis they've been linked to. Uh, they've been linked to Zach Grinke, I think, once or twice, but usually you hear the Dodgers and other, other names like that. Ben Zobrist. Every team has been linked to Ben Zobrist. The Mets have it as their first priority, but Ben Zobrist makes a lot of sense for the St. Louis Cardinals too. 
It really depends whether they want to go in the stopgap direction of a mid-tier starter on lesser years. Um, you know, there's there's a lot of guys out there, Mike Leak and others, that could fit that uh, kind of model. And, uh, you know, a bat like Ben Zobris on a four-year contract versus a Chris Davis on a longer deal or Jason Hayward on a longer deal. Um, as the St. Louis Cardinals do have some young talent coming up in the outfield and a lot of pitching coming up, but they clearly need a starter. And if they want to compete with the Chicago Cubs, who also have some money to play with this offseason and will likely only get better as their young stars uh, continue to flourish, they might have to make a big move. And they have the money this offseason to do so, something that, again, is very uncardinal like Thanks for watching. My name is Jack McNeil. You can follow me on Twitter at JackMcNeil44 uh, and BaseballCentral.com. Thanks.